Hey, this is Rubber Cheese. Today I'm going to try and lower the temperature of the hard drive running 24 7 in this external enclosure. The hard drive is a Western Digital Purple 6 terabyte, and I'm using it to record surveillance from cameras around my house. I bought this Vantec Nexstar TX USB enclosure, but I'm finding the temperatures higher than other enclosures I have. So, in this video, I'm going to try and show why and also try and get the temperatures down. For testing purposes, I'm taking temperatures after recording a single feed um, to the hard drive for more than eight hours. In this state, the hard drive temperature leveled off right around 42 degrees Celsius, um, and external temperatures are Thirty-four degrees on that side, and about thirty-four degrees on this side. Um, also, note this is active. I've got a piece of electrical tape over this. Um, you can probably see it blinking still, though. So let's take this thing apart and see what we can do to bring down temperatures. All right, so we're just going to take it apart. Um, this thing is held together with plastic end caps that are secured by screws. Um, these screws are going into plastic, so this is not a great enclosure if you're opening it and closing it a lot. So pop off the end cap, and then we can slide this out. So the main, the main thing I noticed when I bought this is that the um, Although this is aluminum and great at transferring heat, the tray that the um, hard drive screws onto is all plastic. And so it's not great at heat transfer. And that's different than my old case. This is also a Vantec. It's also got a uh, aluminum case. However, the tray is metal. And this metal um, contacts the outer shell um, with these grooves here. And it was actually really good at transferring heat to the shell. Um, so this um, seemed to be much better at, at getting rid of the heat. So I'm going to try and do something similar with this Nexar TX. And what I'm going to try and do is add some uh, tin foil and try and get this side of the hard drive to directly contact the shell. And so to do that, I'm just going to use a tin foil, and I happen to have some of this, so I'm going to uh, secure it with this, and we'll see uh, we'll see if we can improve temperatures. All right, so I've just cut up a strip of aluminum. I folded it up. It fits here pretty nicely, and I've also put some of this tape on, and I'm going to secure it only on this side, and that's because when I'm sliding it into the into the case, I just want to make sure that this doesn't all fold up. Now I might do, I need to do this a couple of times because what I'm really hoping for is some contact here, um, but not so much that I can't get the case on. So let's just try that. Yeah, this is pretty tight. So I think this is what I want. I hope it's not too tight though. I think that's good. Hmm. There we go. So there does seem to be contact there. So this is what I was hoping for. And let's put this back together. And so what I'm really hoping to see is better heat transfer. So instead of the hard drive heating up that pocket of air in between the hard drive and the enclosure, I'm hoping that there'll be a bit more direct transfer of heat to the outer shell and that it will lower the overall temperature. All right, so I'm going to put this back to work. Um, it'll be doing exactly the same thing as it was before, recording a single... Um, a single video feed and I'll leave it for you know maybe eight hours for temperatures to stabilize and we'll uh, we'll see what the temperatures look like 
So it's about 24 hours later and my temperatures have dropped a couple of degrees. So they were sitting at 42. They got as low as 38 when I was running one video feed. Um, I thought I'd put up all the other video feeds. So it's now recording eight video feeds and I'm down to 39 degrees. So I saw a reduction of three to four degrees. Um, and the ambient temperature is actually about one degree warmer than it was yesterday. So I, I think this is pretty good. Shaving off three or four degrees. I didn't do a really great job putting that tinfoil on. It was only really covering, you know, a section. Um, so I think this is a way that you can drop temperatures at least, a, a, you know, a few degrees. Um, the temperatures that I have are in the mid or, you know, in, in the high 30s, low 40s. That's not a bad temperature. Um, but I originally got interested in this because um, my other hard drive that I had been using runs a lot warmer. So I was kind of thinking about what I could do to get more heat away. So anyways, um, there are other external enclosures that have metal inserts um, that I think would be better at transferring the heat to the cage without having to do something like what I did here. Um, I ended up going with this one because I've had Vantec enclosures before and they've always worked well for me. Um, and I was a little bit nervous about some of the energy saving features on some other ones. I was reading that some of them have features that turn off the hard drive after five or 10 minutes. And I wasn't sure if that would mess up anything in my application. So I'll put a link to this particular enclosure in the comments below. Um, and also please comment if you found a better way to modify one of these enclosures, not terribly, to improve temperatures. Um, there's also um, models that have built-in fans, including one of the Vantec units. I'll put a link to it below as well. Um, I didn't go for it just because it costs about twice as much, and I didn't want to have that fan running all the time. But if you are running a hard drive that you know runs hot, it definitely might be worth considering. Um, this is a Western Digital Purple. It runs about 6 watts but some of my other hard drives run closer to 11 12 watts and you know that's twice as much heat so this would become a lot more important for those hard drives so anyways hopefully this um, gives you some ideas if you're in this situation um, and yeah please please let me know what you've done thanks